Robert England was on was, at first I was told it was going to be delayed, then I, because of mechanical failure, then I was told the flight was going to be canceled. This is how I wake up the day that we're getting ready to set up the show and the stars are coming in. And you get this uh, message that Robert Hickman's flight is delayed and then uh, maybe half an hour after that I got the message that his flight was canceled. The only seats that were available, we had booked first class flights for him, it's a six hour flight, and, and his wife Nancy, and I'm like, and there's no first class flights to be had coming into Philadelphia. So, you know, that's a promoter's nightmare. To this man's credit, he gets on a coach flight. I don't even want to know what row they put you in. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Lance Hendrickson sent me drinks. <laughs> Lance was in one seat and took care of me. <laughs> so much to his credit, many, many, many other stars would have just said, oh, sorry, Dave, I can't make the show. Robert's here. No, I, I, I don't know. Guys, wait, you know, this has nothing to do with Dave. He can't control weather or maintenance or planes. And the other thing is, Nance and I always want to get here early. Nancy, on my advice today, got to go to one of the best museums in Philly, right across the bridge, that I went to 100 years ago when I was a stage actor. And we love it, we love coming here. We have so many recurring fans, and we've all aged together, but we also, I'm a fanboy too, and we've also seen the dealers, and the collections, and the contributions from the internet get wider and richer. And it's, it's, this is a great show because you never can read the fans here. There might be four really attractive couples in line and I'll need a frame of reference for a Sam Peckinpah movie. And there'll be a guy in line with a bone in his nose and more piercing than Dee Snyder. And he will tell me the entire cast of that 1959 Sam Peckinpah movie that I consider an echo of Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And I'm trying to make some point about my own career in the 70s and Mark Hamill or something like that. And there's a guy that can do that. That's what I love about Monster Mania is beyond the genres, beyond the darkness and the, and the wide spectrum here, is you guys love movies! <laughs> One of the top three funniest women on American television. And if you watch her in Brides Maze, and you watch her, what's the cop show she did? Reno. My God, she's funny. She's just the real thing. She's the real thing. And when she ran down the hall in Goldberg's, and she improvised, oh no, in her Jewish mother voice, Mr. Knifey Fingers, <laughs> oh my God, what am I going to do? Mr. Knifey Fingers, I broke up. I could, I had my bike on cheap, I'm going to keep them laughing, but at the end of my segment, my last segment, they cut this out, she runs down the hall and you hear her voice trailing in the distance and she's complaining. Oh, what's the matter with his skin? I mean, Jesus, what's he eating? Oh my God. And she's running down the hall. And I look at her and I go, hey, hey! And she doesn't turn around. And I turn to the camera and I go, ah, oh, that's some kind of prime time bitch. <laughs> and the, the, the running joke was, they would blip the dirty words. They cut that out. Oh. Stand up so we can take some pictures. Here you go.